All right, we have a couple of different issues right now. First of all, if we look at the snail, he looks like he's just humping the ground. And, well, that's obviously not what we want him to do with that animation. We want him to actually look like he's crawling, uh, going left and right. And second of all, look what I just noticed. Look, look at his shell. He's just, like, sitting on his back. He's not even in it. So, uh, well, we can't fix that. <laughs> but uh, we can make sure that he's not humping the ground and just moving away. And also, look what happens when my dude runs into him. I mean, he can kill him, but right now I'm just running into him, and uh, I'm not even getting hurt. So we're going to add that flash to the player whenever he, uh, you know, runs into him improperly. So let's go ahead and add that first. So in the event sheet, what we can do is, and this is another thing you're going to understand really easy if you uh, ever programmed a computer, right click right here and hit add an else statement. And I'll show you guys what to do. So the action that we want to add is, actually I don't even need that, is this player and the flash. And we can just go ahead and set this all to defaults and hit done. And let me show you guys, uh, let me play the game first and show you guys what's happening, what we just did. So look at my player. Okay, so whenever he runs into the snail now, he flashes. And if you guys didn't know what I was talking about before, that resembles him getting hurt. Of course, we can still kill him like before. So what this means right here, and I'll tell you guys what an else statement is real quick, is basically it's first going to detect or test, did your dude collide with that snail is he touching the snail in any kind of way if he is test these two conditions the first one is if he's falling or is he jumping on the snail kill the snail if he wasn't falling that's what an else statement means if this condition right here is false what this means is do this instead so did he collide with the snail if he did destroy the snail if he didn't then it must mean he collided with it from the side so just make the player flash and in my last tutorial series the beginner one I showed you guys how to like deduct health so you guys can do all that maybe put a little HUD up on the screen but for now I just want to show you guys how to uh, make a simple platform game Whoa. got like the hiccups and whenever I hiccup sometimes I burp kind of embarrassing but oh well whatever what are you gonna do alright so now that we got the player flashing the only other thing we need to do is take care of the snail's humping behavior. In other words, make him crawl. So the reason that he's just humping the ground right now instead of crawling is because we added that animation, but we didn't add the platform behavior. So he can stay in the same place and be animated, but he can't move around. So the first thing we need to do is give him platform behavior, and that basically allows him to move around. So again, make sure he's selected under behaviors, what we want to do is add a platform behavior which is right here so now our snail can move around left and right pretty freaking sweet and also I want to show you guys something else since this snail um, image is actually really cool the box around the snail is pretty much exactly where we want it to be for the snail left right up and down so we don't need another blue box like this to detect um, the snail's body like we did for the player. The only reason we did this is because his arms were sticking out to the side kind of wide but for this no blue box is needed so that's awesome it's gonna make our uh, game development a whole lot easier. Also another thing I want to mention is whenever you're making enemies for your game make sure that you uh, make their images nice tightly bound and then uh, you won't have that issue as well. But anyways make sure that you have the snail selected and in the properties plan panel Actually, I want up. Well, we can just do it from right here. In the properties panel, this speed right here is um, kind of fast for the snail. So what we want to do is we want to set the max speed for the snail at something like 50 because, well, snails are slow. Another thing I want to do is I want to set the acceleration to 100 and the deceleration to 100 because, well, we just want to slow them down because, well, snails are slow. And another thing I want to point out is what we just animated are the snail's platform behavior. Pretty much how this entire character can move around in the game. He's going to move left and right slow. He's going to accelerate and decelerate kind of slow. They're different from the animation speed. This animation speed is basically saying how fast do you want this to play. In other words, 
how fast is he going to be humping the ground? So actually, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, make him hump the ground real fast. <laughs> just because, uh, well, just because I'm an idiot and I want to see how it looks. <laughs> oh, wow. That is awesome. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys can saw it because, or hold on a second. Look at him. Wow. Okay. And another thing that uh, you guys probably noticed is whenever I hit up, the snail also jumped up. And this is because I'll show you guys how to fix this problem. Actually, we'll keep his up. Uh, um, the humping the ground speed at uh whatever I had it set at a hundred or whatever. And also, I want to adjust a couple of things. Um, let's go ahead and move this down. Move all of these down. Okay, we're right around here. Okay, what was I talking about? Okay. And actually, I'll set him here. By default. And the reason I'm doing all of this, if I can select everything, is because you guys saw, as soon as I uh, jumped off the platform, then I automatically like, jumped on the snail, and I just want to avoid that. Let's move him a little closer to the ground and now like I said what I want to do is I want to make it so when we jump the snail doesn't also jump and I'll actually uh, do that in a second and I'll show you guys how to um, fix that but for right now I'm gonna add one other thing before I start messing with the other stuff and that is I want to load, load in a new spray object so if I double click this and click spray object I don't know if I did that too fast. Sprite 2. I'm going to load in that blue box again, which is the square right here. Now, the reason that I'm loading this in isn't because we need to give the snail a new body. It's because whenever we have them move around from left to right, if we just have them move left all the way, he's going to eventually fall off this edge right here. Or if we have them move right all the way, He's just going to fall off that edge real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these boxes right here and they're pretty much they're going to be invisible whenever you're playing the game. But to the or excuse me, to the snail, they're pretty much going to set barriers. So he's going to crawl if you hold down control and copy this as well. We're pretty much going to say, "Hey snail, only crawl back and forth between these two barriers." So, I'm actually want to you probably want to rename this like edge marker and hit enter and obviously since they're instances all of these ones are called edge marker right now and like I said what it does is obviously just mark the edge of it now another issue is that if we just played the game right now these would be visible so go ahead and set the visibility to invisible right here so now the snail is gonna have an invisible barrier where they're pretty much contained to. Now, after this, what I want to do is I want to add an instance variable. And basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the snail, and he's going to be um, crawling left and right. But we pretty much are going to say, once you hit this box right here, change your direction and also change your animation. Because we don't want him just to crawl left and right like this. We want him once to get here to mirror like we do to the player, flip around and start looking like he crawls the other way. So in order to create this instance variable, make sure that you have the snail selected. And on the left hand side, select add or edit instance variables. Now we don't have any yet, so we'll just create a new one right here. And the name of this is just going to be action. For the type, it's actually going to be test and the initial value is we're gonna set this as what way is the snail looking so right now he's looking right so do this animation and the description we don't need that so basically we're gonna say eventually this is what we're gonna do once you come in contact or collide with this box then change the instance variable to left and also make the animation look left then when you hit this one change it back to right and start crawling back this way. So that's 
like uh, it's going to be some very, and by very, I mean incredibly simple artificial intelligence. And I guess I can fix that uh, one other problem we had right now. And that was this. When the users jump in, <laughs> uh, freaking snail. Actually, I need to uh, change that too. When the user jumps, the snail jumps. And that's because we added platform behavior, basically saying um, you're pretty much going to mirror a lot of my behavior pretty much the user is gonna control the snail but we wanna actually change that so if we select the snail on this one right here it's called default controls we're going to select no now what this means is the user can no longer control this object themselves and the reason that we wrote that is because we are going to eventually give this artificial intelligence so they can you know crawl back and forth on their self so that's why we don't need any input from the user to tell the enemy what to do and ugh, hiccup burps alright so this was invisible and I changed it after I made the instance so now even though we can see these in our development these are both invisible as we can see and also lastly whenever we jump with our player it doesn't control the snail as well so now the next thing we have to do is have him move left and right and uh, maybe even speed up the humping the ground animation. Who freaking knows? So uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.